Hi guys, it's Ruthie, plant obsessed lady, loving to share my passion for plants and inspiring you to be creative with your plants and gardens. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. You know you rock. Um, today I'm going to be doing some, showing some of my propagated uh, plants and potting up and what in the world is that white spot on my cheek? I have no idea. Did I even look in the mirror before I started recording? Clearly not. Uh, one of my propagated Monstera Adansoni. Adansoni? Adansoni? However you say it. Comment down below how to properly say it. <laughs> um, uh, so why don't you join me? Let's get to it. Alright guys, so I'm just showing you uh, my little propagation station that I have in my kitchen. Um, they're basically just little glass um, cups and stuff that I bought from the Dollar Tree or 99 cent store. And I put the rocks in there. I have some other ones like this that I got from Dollar Tree or dollar um, the dollar store as well and um, I've just been propagating some of my plants in them and I've had some success so I'm actually going to repot this uh, Monstera Adansoni. Adansoni I have two of them that I've propagated one of them I bought from um this one I bought from Offer Up from a little teenage boy. He sells cuttings and stuff online. And it's probably about two months old, I want to say. And this one I got from the plant that B um, gifted me. So I just took a couple of cuttings to fill in. And because um, it was really long. Uh, but it still has a lot of long pieces. So, um... I just figured I'd, I'd make another plant from the one that she gave me because it was so beautiful. And these are the ones that I'm going to actually be propagating, I mean repotting today. I also have um, this um, Philodendron Brazil that I'm propagating. I have some um, Pothos, two different ones. I have the Cebu Blue back here. And um, I forgot what this one was called, a Jolie or something like that. And then some more Philodendron Brazil because I love them so much. And then this is my, sorry my finger got in the way. This is the pot in a pot that I did recently. I've kept it in here. And then I have some of the purple hearts propagating back here. Back there. And then I just have this little lamp here, LED light, that I use to give um, this propagation area some light. I don't remember where I bought it from, but yeah, that's just my little propagation area. And I'm gonna get to the potting. All right, I think I'm crooked, but I can't figure it out, so. All right, so these are the Monstera Adansoni. Adansoni however you pronounce it. I'm sorry if I'm but butchering the name. This one I bought from a kid online on um so this is the cuttings I got a few months ago. These are from um cuttings from B. My camera keeps turning off I don't know why and it's driving me crazy. So this is like the fourth time I've tried to say the same thing and you would think I get it perfect by now, but I don't because I'm annoyed. Um, so I'm going to try and do this fast because it keeps turning off and it's making me crazy. So I'm just going to take these out of here. I'm going to use this to put in this. I don't even know if I got to record this before. I found this that I think at um, either Home Depot or Lowe's. It had a... Um, it had a... Uh, Uh, 
lose my mind already. It had a fern in here. No, not a fern, an ivy in here. But the ivy's getting a little crispy, so I figured I'd put this in the hanging basket. And I'm, this is just gonna, this little pot is just gonna go in here. And then when it outgrows it out, move it into another container. But I think it'll really, really look cute in here until then. Look how cute that is. And I think this was like $10 with the plant in it. And I love that it, have the, it has the monstera leaves, so I think it's really appropriate for the uh, monstera adansona to go in there. Um, and I haven't, I have been battling, I'm, I'm jumping somewhere else right now. I have been battling with mealybugs in my outside area for a good part of the summer. It's rain season and um, these mealybugs are trying to take over. I am fighting, I mean I am just out there pop, 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 trying to get these mealybugs out of my life. They are frustrating me, pissing me off and making me crazy. I know I'm not the only one, um, but yeah, I don't even know if you guys can see what I'm doing because I cannot even see what I'm doing in the screen. And my son is in the kitchen, I'm sure looking for food. What? Yeah, I know I see you and you're about to make noise there. Um, so yeah. inappropriate times ever time. Wait, I still have another little one in here. Oh no. Um I use my little set feeling tool set or gardening tool set in general, which I totally love. So I don't know, have you guys been battling with these mealies because they are just out of control, annoying, just, I, I have honestly had to unpop almost like all of my pots, my, my, um, my succulent area outside and I really should have filmed it but it was just kind of last minute, um, just like checking on my plants and pulling the dead leaves and noticing that something was wrong and that's honestly the best um the best protection against mealybugs is inspection you have to inspect your plants if you don't inspect your pants your, <laughs> your pants if you don't inspect your plants uh the mealybugs will get to the point where you cannot save a plant and i really 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 should have recorded all of that but i was just it just was all of a sudden I woke up was still in my pajamas and I went out there to check on my plants and all of a sudden I find all this mess of mealies and I just started um un see I talk about mealies and I'm, I'm going crazy um and I just got so annoyed I just started unpotting everything, checking on the roots, checking on all the plants, taking out dead leaves, and I think that is one of the main reasons that I had so many mealies is because I have not been taking out the dead leaves um, in, in my succulents. So that, you really need to be doing that. Or it's going to get to the point where you cannot save your plants. Um, my son is so distracting me right now. Like, I'm not already distracted. This might not be the biggest, big enough pot for this, but I, I feel like I've heard, um, that these like to be kind of root bound. And I know when I got the plant from B, it was totally root bound and it was doing just fine so I think this will do just fine in here for a, a while if I can get it straightened out I, let me move this before I drop the water again yay what are you doing eating what are you eating what are you doing food 
just tell people what a bad is what it is. It is water. Yes, ice water. Um So, I mean, let me know what you guys are doing for your, you know, if you're battling any pests this summer. You're the most distracting person in the world right now, you yeah. Like, you didn't come into the kitchen not one time until I started filming. Um... Let me know if you guys are battling any pests and what you're doing. I um, I really, really, really should have uh, recorded what I was doing, but basically, I just took them out of the out of the pots. I put new soil. I sprayed them down with alcohol. Um, some of them I that didn't have mealybugs, I just repotted anyway. Checked the soil. Took out the dead leaves. Um, and, um, took out the dead leaves and sprayed it with, um, the ones that didn't have mealies, I sprayed them with, um, neem oil, neem oil, N-E-E-M oil, um, so let's see how this looks so far. But yeah, and I've been really enjoying propagating uh, the house plants because um, it's like I want so many plants, but I don't have money for all these plants. So I'm going to have to start propagating things to, you know, to put in different areas. Because I don't have an issue with having a lot of the same type of plants to cover different areas of my home. Um, especially like this plant. I love this Monstera. Um, I love pothos, 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 however you like to say it. Um, don't judge me if I don't say the names properly. I'm, I'm just a plant lover. I'm no expert. Um, And yeah, so I, I want to have all these plants and I don't have the money for all these plants. And I really need to chill out, as my husband says, with buying plants. So I've been trying to propagate and um, get plants that way. And maybe do swaps with people that have different types of plants that I don't. I'm putting some worm castings in here. Um, which is nice source of um of um a soil enricher gives it some nice nutrients helps it grow um but yeah so i have like <laughs> caviar dreams with a uh, tuna fish uh, budget <laughs> so i really need to chill with buying stuff but i can't help it they I love plants. They make me happy. Um, I'm battling, like I said, with my succulents out there. Um, so I'm trying to enjoy myself and and um, and have a good time and relax with plants. So um, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to propagate and and. Um, get more plants that way which I really really recommend for you to do it's it's nice to see plants that you that you have make babies like look how cute this is I love it I really love it um, and I, I was not happy with the crunchy crunchy ivy so this is gonna grow in super super cute I may even cut some of the stems and put them in there but for now this is fine and it'll trail um, so I'm really happy with this um, if you 
if you have different propagation methods um let me know down below let me know how what's your favorite way to to propagate if you prefer soil propagation or water propagation i do love seeing the roots grow in um the water which is one of the reasons i really enjoy it and i am so impatient that soil propagation really a lot of times is not the best <laughs> route for me because I am a puller. I'm like always checking to see if there's roots and I know that th that that harms the plant more than it helps it. So I think that the water propagation, if it's a plant that can be water propagated is the best method for me most of the time because of my impatience with plants um, growth. Um, but let me know what works best for you, especially with, if anyone knows how to propagate the begonias let me know because I have been trying to propagate my begonia maculata to send a, a cutting to my friend Shannon and I am doing a terrible job with it. Uh, I have it in soil. I don't know if water would have been better. I don't know if I cut it in the right spot. But um, I would really like to share a cutting with you. Are you kidding me? They can't even see. <laughs> Anyway, um, <laughs> my son is like dancing in front of me and I'm supposed to keep a serious face. Um, let me know, like, if you have any methods to propagate begonias in general. I'd love to propagate some of my begonias, especially the maculata. Um, and, uh, what else? The pothos I find the mo the easiest to propagate and I love them because I can have them in every corner of my home and I don't have a problem with that. They're just, I love how they trail and they're just simple, happy plants that don't give you a hard time. Uh, the other thing is I want to thank everyone who has sent me um, comments, encouraging comments, um, and even on Facebook and uh, Instagram, you guys have been awesome. I was having a terrible day the other day and it showed in the video and you guys were super observant vigilant and just awesome i really appreciate that you know you know i'm human just as you guys are and we're entitled to have a day that we're just not feeling so great i was having my ear infection which thankfully has cleared um and i i thank you for all your well wishes prayers everything you guys you know you rock and uh i totally appreciate you guys I am going to be doing a giveaway probably in September um, just because I have to put things together. I wanted to send succulents, but with my mealybug problem, I am not trying to give you no mealybugs, people. I That's just not my thing. Um, so I'm going to have to rethink about what I'm going to do. It, it may be some, you know, houseplant stuff. Um, I definitely have the earrings that I mentioned, um, the bracelets, um, maybe some, you know, I'll, I have to brainstorm for something but it is my one year anniversary august 9th that i started uh recording and you guys have been amazing i so 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 appreciate your support you guys are amazing um and i i'm thankful that you guys have joined my uh plant journey it's been so much fun i i learned so much from you guys and i really appreciate all the comments feedback and helpful comments and feedback um just encouraging me and giving me tips and and advice I appreciate it I'm like I said I'm not an expert I'm just a plant lover that you know is uh, sharing my, my plants and my passion for plants so thank you thank you so 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 much um, by the way I have links down below to my Amazon store which are affiliate links uh, you absolutely do not have to buy from there, but if you, uh, there's certain products that you see that I use that you like, uh, you can check them down below. You can buy from there, buy from Home Depot, buy from wherever you want, but um, I appreciate your support. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you know when I post something new. Till next time, let's make this world a more beautiful place, one succulent plant and cacti at a time. Bye.